Tonight, here is tonight's Minute News with Esmer's Austin. Stiffer sanctions coming for environmental breaches. Stiffer fines and penalties are coming for environmental breaches, says Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, Senator Matthew Samuda. Also, JDF veteran Brigadier Raj Mason is new prison boss. Brigadier Raj Mason from the Jamaica Defense Force is to take over as the head of Jamaica's prison service on April 2nd. As Commissioner of Corrections, he will head the Department of Correctional Services. Now, in the news, Education Minister emphasizes importance of empowering teachers with technology. Minister of Education and Youth, Favel Williams, says that empowering teachers with technology not only benefits students but also helps educators stay current with digital and advancements on education. Climate change protests in downtown Kingston against deep sea mining. A small group of environmental and climate advocates took to the streets of downtown Kingston on Thursday afternoon in protest of deep sea mining. The placard bearing group shouted chants urging citizens to say no to deep sea mining while standing at the Kingston Bear waterfront across from the Jamaica Conference Center where the headquarters of the International Seabed Authority is located. Also, new CMO aids for Andrews Memorial to become high reliability health care organization. Newly appointed chief medical officer for Dr. Francine Gale has been mandated to lead Andrew Memorial Hospital into becoming a high reliable healthcare organization. The move comes amid the hospital's 80th anniversary celebration, which get underway with a Thanksgiving service on April 6th at the Andrews Memorial Seventh Day Adventist Church starting at 11 a.m. Make a Council of Churches concerned about recent proceedings in Parliament. The Jamaica Council of Churches has expressed concern about how recent proceedings of Parliament have transpired and how matters of a delicate nature have been handled. This expression of concern has arisen from issues relating to the tabling of Auditor General's report. Indicom probe for police fatal shootings in three days. Investigative teams from the Independent Commission of Investigations are probing the circumstances which resulted in the fatal shooting of four persons by the police in separate incidents from March 26 to 28. The incidents, which claims the lives of a woman and three men, occurred in Kingston, St. Thomas, Manchester, and St. Catherine. This concludes our nightly news. Kindly remember to tune in to our Minute News at 6 p.m. every day. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica, guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below